Hey there guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez, back at it again with another episode of Logo History, episode 306 around the series, and today we've got another logo to take a look at, and this time, focusing on chicken wings, ooh, who are you friends with chicken wings, <laughs> cause you better be, order up, we got some wings to get to, cause we are here to serve you and ready to taste the, 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 the difference, oh my gosh, I love it, so now you know my friends, everything you need to know is all right here, it happens right now. So thank you for coming. Welcome to Logan History, episode 306. And this time, it's about Wingstop. Well, I don't know about you, but this is going to be a good one. I'm, I'm promised, this is going to be one of the best looks experiencing chicken wing stores you ever heard of. And for those who have seen our previous episode, please go check it out right now. Episode 305 was about pill animation. Link will be on the top right corner of the screen, so please go check it out right now. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy what you're about to see today on this episode of Logo History. So let's begin. First things first, images are taken from Wikipedia. Credit goes everywhere. I do not own any images at what you're about to see, so get ready, guys. It all comes down to this. Images taken from Wikipedia. Credit goes everywhere. Without further ado, let's get started. Here's the short part for those who don't know what Wingstop is. Wingstop Incorporated is a record chain of the subject. Aviation vegan restaurants specializing in chicken wings. Wingstop locations are, de are decorated following a 1930s and 1940s pre-jet aviation theme. The restaurant chain was founded in 1994 by in Garland, Texas, and began offering franchises in 1997. Since then, Wingstop has grown into a chain with more than 1,400 restaurants either open or in development. The chain is headquartered in Addison, Texas. In 2003, the chain was acquired by Gemini Investors, which sold it to Work Capital Group in 2010. Wingstop went public in 2015. So keep your mind, guys. Keep your mind inside, guys. And they can happen in Wingstop. Let's take a look at that here. Restaurant name is Wingstop. Genre is fast, casually fast food restaurant. Founded in 1994. Their founders are Antonio Swan and Bernadette Fiacetti. <laughs> if I'm pronouncing right. Headquarters are in Dallas, Texas, United States. And by that, cl closer to in Addison, Texas. Now you know, slogan is where flavor kits is wings. That's right, Wingstop, where flavor kits is wings. And the website is www.wingstop.com. Go check them out right now. I'll put a link down below in the video description. And with that being said, let's get started. I'm sending you the logo history of Wingstop. 1994, 2010. Excuse me, let, let me try again. 1994, 2014. Sorry for the error, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I said it wrong. All right, let me try again. 1994, 2014. We have here a uh, green, a dark green circle uh, on it. A dark green circle on a, on a white outline and coming out of it, and the uh, green outline has a bunch uh, of triangle shapes on it. And on it, there are the words the wing and experts in white text. In the middle of the circle, there's a uh, white circle on a green, on a dark green white outline, and on there are a bunch of, of dark green lines on it. Yeah, coming out of it, and coming out, and coming out from the uh, from the left and right side of the circle, there are two, uh, the two white wings on a both of which are on dark green outlines, and surrounding the circle, there's a white. There's a white shape on a on a dark green, white, and dark green outline. And inside it, that are wink and stop in dark green text on a white and dark green outline. Yeah, or uh, it's on a white and dark green drop shadow. Yeah, yeah, and between those words, there's a dark green dot on the way and dark green drop shadow as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And every and, and, and on the bottom right of the shape, there's a Russian retriever symbol. So yeah, that's all, that's all we have right here. And finally, 2014 to the present. Now the logo is brighter. Oh, every, the wings are the outline of the wings are now green. The outline, excuse me, the, the outline of the wings have been removed. Everything is everything is now everything is now brighter. The volume of the words wing and experts have changed. The logo, the logo is, has been simplified, and the uh, and the white parts and, and, the, and the white part of the logo is now transparent. So yeah, everything else remains intact. The logo <laughs> they modernized the logo, so that's the logo we're going to see today. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But with that, guys, we're done. And Dustin, thank you all for watching our episode of Logo History. We are done! We'll see you tomorrow for another exciting episode of the series. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video with friends. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications. Turn on to miss a new video from We are on the road to 900 subscribers. Well, thank you all for watching today. Have a great day. Thank you for taking your time to enjoy Wings from Wingstop. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You be yourself. And I will see you tomorrow on Logo History. Get ready to head back to the world of satellite television, ladies and gentlemen, because next episode, episode 307, will be about Direct TV. Oh my gosh. Currently owned by AT&T. Heads the AT&T Globe logo next to, right next to the Direct TV, uh, next to the Direct TV font. Yeah, next to the Direct TV Warmark, so keep in mind. As you can see, Direct TV is currently competing with another big time satellite television company, Dish Network, which I already talked about on episode 19 of my other show, Logo History 2, so please go check it out right now. Then come back as we take a look at Direct TV, so don't miss it. I love you. Uh, 
Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, stay tuned for episode two of Logan Hussey Moshi. Coming up, follow me with Moshi Monsters by Amy. Episode 300, episode 405, as, as it is going to be. Uh, episode 404. Yeah, that's right. Episode 44, as it is going to be about Stomper. So don't miss out. And for now, thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is because that's just up for local history. Have a great day. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Laters!